All right, first I want to apologize. I don't know why my cursor is a little circle, and I hope it doesn't continue to do that, but it's kind of annoying seeing that. All right, so first let's create a new Android application. Call it whatever you want. Um, there we go. All right. Keep this above 12, and I'll explain why later on in the tutorial. But I'm going to do 4.0 uh, 4 and compile with 4.0 as well. Uh, I don't want to create a custom launcher icon. You can if you want. Uh, next, next, finish. All right. Let's see what uh, what else we have to do. Make sure we have Google Play services installed. So go to your SDK and go to the very bottom. They just came out with a new revision, so make sure you have that installed. So Google Play services is installed and it's at the newest one. Google support library, make sure that's installed and Google USB driver is installed. Um, you have to test this on a device because I don't know why, but it does not work on a emulator. So just keep that in mind. Uh, all right, so the next thing we need to do is configure the uh, Google Play Services SDK. So import it. Oh, before before this, let me show you how to find your um, where your SDK is located. So this is where mine is, at this little path right here. So um, if you don't know where to kind of look, that's where you can find it because um, I'll show you why um, you have to go to your SDK folder and go to extras Android oops sorry not Android Google uh, Google's play services and then the library project and just click the folder Google play services library should be right here and copy that project into your workspace all right now right click on your map tutorial project go to properties go to Android right here click that click on add library and click on Google Play services library click OK uh, this just means that this is not available so what that means that that jar isn't available so what that means is you just need to build your project your google play services library project so make sure you have you clicked that project that library and build it all right then right click on maps tutorial and click build project and also um i usually turn this off just because sometimes you'll prematurely build your project and it'll sort of you'll sometimes lose your file so um, uh, next thing we need to do is, uh, let's see. So I just clicked that link uh, if you didn't see. So, and then go to setup. So we've done all that. Copy this little snippet and go back to your project and go to your pro guard and paste that right there. Save it and then build it. All right. And next thing we'll do is obtain an API key. So I'll see you guys in the next video.